ice and there was I remember just like you know graphics with it as well the snow background and all that kind of thing and I should try out Trinity really the Trinity project the fork uh, virtual machine or whatever but I did have uh, I think I did try out an Ubuntu 8.10 or 9.4 base with like based with like a Trinity version because they you know 8.4 was the last Ubuntu with KDE three the long term support um. Yeah, KD3. So yeah, I mean, but I like mixing up, like I said earlier, because neither, neither GNOME or KD are perfect. You know, they're made by people. They're, they're, you know, they're, none of the stuff is perfect, really. And, you know, it's, really, there isn't really such a thing as perfect. Well, maybe. Well, obviously, yeah. the religious people, I let, you might think, of, maybe God is perfect if there is one or whatever. Let's not bang with religion. But, um, so, uh, um, so yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, there is more room for improvement if you just. There's all, there's more improvement. It's it's, it's better that nothing's perfect because you, you can always move forward. Yeah, no, no, this so stuff is perfect. It's all made by people, and it's you know it's not KD KD free. I think even if you read something that's considered to be optimal in some way, there will be a person saying, "Well, we need to try something else." And even if it's perfect. something is apparently uh, because perfect. because there will be the aspiration to be uh, either unique or to have a different need from somewhere. So. Even when it comes to color of clothing or logos or, uh, you know, all kinds of distribution wallpapers, you can never satisfy everyone. No, no, it's, it's true. Case, but you can try and optimize to cater for, you know, yeah. vote. Uh, and that will expire after the I know, I know that, I know that, man, man. I know that Medea is, uh, they're gonna try and do really nice graphics by default in Medea too, as far as I know. Cause I, I saw, uh, I saw a few demos and I, it, it's, it looks nice and they have all kinds of, uh, they had a wallpaper, I think a wallpaper yeah. contest for a while. Did yeah, you see okay. Which one? KD, uh, the one they announced in the mailing list, I think I saw some proposals and stuff for previous releases of the, of Medea. Oh, my dear. No, there's, there's no, only really... Oh, yeah, there yeah. was a Jitu, uh, had one recently, a contest for a... Oh, yeah. Wall to be used by default. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to say something about that, actually, now that you brought up. The, the Magia wallpaper contest. They, yeah, I remember that. It was sort of in, like, December or November last year when they were doing it, and there was this... There was, I saw a lot of it. There was, there was loads of really nice graphics. It was just absolutely lovely loads of those. I mean, some of the artists can use uh, things that they did before and just add the logo somewhere, or maybe... Yeah, but the thing is, a lot, most of these graphics that were made actually broke their, their rules, because the idea was not to have a Madriva style or something like it. They, they wanted to make something different from Man Magia. And I meant from Man Mandriva, so a lot of these graphics that were made... If they had anything that was too Mandriva like, they would they they would fail. They would well they wouldn't they wouldn't be they wouldn't disqualified. They would, yeah, disqualified. Yeah. So that turned so actually that turned I think that turned out to be most of the artworks that was submitted, even though the rules were quite clear on the wiki and all that, but the guidelines. But yeah. all the, a lot of artwork failed this test, which is a shame. But that's what happened. I mean, the project has just turned one year old, and I, I think this is the last thing we're going to cover in general. I mean, uh, the GA is now a year old. Uh, it was a year old almost a week ago. Yeah, yeah, it's just over right. a year old now. Was there any celebration or any mark? Of the, uh, yeah, yeah, there was. There was the, the blog post, um, and some people use a tag on Twitter and that kind of thing. Obviously, Authentica was down. Uh, if you look on Authentica, there was some celebration stuff, although a little bit later on because it was down on the day. Yeah. Um, and and I linked to uh, Susan Linton's uh, blog post from the Astra about it as well, you know, Oestastic. And, and yeah, there was a bit of a celebration. And, but I just want to, I don't know what I can, I know what I can end off with. Um, so yeah, Gnome, Gnome Shell, Unity, um, and we talked about that about already. But what I what I believe is that a, a distribution, ideally a distribution, should try and a good distribution should try and provide all of these things. They should try, try and provide Unity, Gnome Shell, maybe Gnome Two, even maybe even Trinity. You know, as much of this stuff as they can, really. And I know that um, a guy, and there's Adam Williamson, who used to work for Mandriva, who hangs out in the my, my gear developers channel as well. He's on the like Fedora quality 
team quality assurance, quality assurance but he works for Red Hat now. But anyway, he, he was trying to get Unity into Fedora, but there were, as in, and into the main repos as well, but there were some technical issues. And as just like a hobby, and then there was somebody else for Open Sushi doing it, and then Magia. Well, there was actually a guy who, some guy from Australia or something, he came into the. I started chatting to him in the IRC channel not that long ago, and uh, he um, he basically said he wanted to do packaging for Magia, and I was, and he like said he came from Ubuntu or something like that, and I had a bit of a chat with him, and he was he wanted to learn packaging, and he and he actually said to me, he sort of said to me like. Um, I actually want to package Unity for my. It's like sort of. He sort of said like, "Don't flame me," but I want to. I want to actually package Unity for for my Gia. And I was like, uh, "Okay, cool. Um, I I, I think that's a, a good idea to do that later on if you can. Maybe wait until they've come out with um, a bun to twelve point oh four. Yeah. Long term. You have to make sure you also know who's doing that with packagers. You really yeah. have to trust the people that do that because yeah, and, and I was like, well, maybe there's this guy who was trying to do it for Fedora or whatever. Maybe you can get help from him or something. But I think um, I do want I do want to see Unity in Mandia repos in the future. I don't I don't, I, I, I I highly doubt it's going to be in the Mandia two repos because it's you know it's it, I mean it's a big task getting GNOME three itself into the distribution. You know, that's a big task as well, or, or I think. I'm not a developer, but they've got to do whatever with that. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. the, the Unity, um, and may, maybe later on would end up in my Geo repos. And I think more distributions will, um, ship, you, they will put Unity in their repos as an option as time goes on, as more, well, it depends really what happens with Bunto and Unity and yeah. Tally. But if loads of people are coming to desktop Linux and they they're getting used to Unity to begin with, then and then it goes with another oh and then if another distribution doesn't have Unity and they can't just install it themselves because you know it's a big project and all that, it'll be like you know, you, and that's what I think some people are worried about as well that Unity would give maybe become too popular or or stop people going to GNOME Shell because obviously GNOME Shell is from the Real upstream, the upstream GNOME, so that's really the one that distributions are supposed to be using that go for GNOME 3. But obviously, Ubuntu have their own interface. But what's also interesting about that is that a lot of the Ubuntu based distributions, they, I read something about it before, and they basically all say no to Unity at the moment. It's like they want to stay with GNOME 2, or it's all a bit unsure, but it's, it's I'm interesting sorry, times. Do you think of an exception, though? Any, uh, I think quite a few of them are moving away from the... Um, no, I can think of a few that might be using it, but probably not any prominent ones. The, the ones that you hear about, the ones we talked about before, including those that are quite popular, like the like Mint and Body Linux, and uh, they, they don't try seem to have any interest in Unity, and in fact, some of the developers behind these things have expressed dissatisfaction with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Again, and they basically did try to just stick around with you know whatever Ubuntu is offering, and they also saw there is a market uh, among these distributions for people who aren't too happy with the changes, uh, and maybe they thought, well, we could just. Uh, I, I, yeah, exactly. I think Linux Mint is gonna. What I think is that this is my prediction. I'm, I, it might be completely wrong. It might be right. We will find out. As well, we'll start to find out soon. But this is my, it'd be like this when Fistle Webb was on the show and he made the show about, I mean, a, a prediction about um, uh, Nokia being bought out by Microsoft, right? Well, I want to make a prediction about Ubuntu to do with unit to do with other, uh, and other distributions and do with Unity and stuff like that, right? This is my prediction. It might, it might, it might come out true. It might, it might. Um, be completely wrong. We'll find out as as time goes on. But what I think is going to happen is that Ubuntu 11.10 is going to be released next month, which it is. It's supposed to be coming out on the uh, 13th uh, Thursday, the 13th of uh, October 2011. Yeah, uh, uh, Ubuntu 10 always released on the Thursday. I've noticed as well, like all their development versions and finals. They made an exception last year though with Ubuntu 10.10. Because that came out on the Sunday, so it'd be 10, 10, 10. Remember that? Yeah. Anyway, my anyway, my prediction is that because I've been reading quite a bit about it on the internet, on the web, um, and 
around the web about Unity and GNOME Shell and I know that there's quite a lot of people out there who, who don't really like Unity or GNOME Shell and quite a few of them have been